thanks for joining me. So today I have a new makeup tutorial and I was actually inspired by this palette that I got just recently from Ulta. And this is from Lorac, the Alter Ego Heartbreaker. Packaging amazing. Uh, that's actually what really caught my attention. It's a beautiful shade of like a neon pink. It's the way that it feels is really just soft and I just love the overall packaging. The box itself is also very cute. It has, um, you know, like the pink and sort of like the sorbet orange shade at the top. It's just a beautiful packaging overall. Now, I ended up creating this look, which of course you guys know my tutorials are always very uh, wearable because I want you guys to be able to wear these out in public. So anyways, let's get started with the actual tutorial. So I always like to start off by taking an eyeshadow primer. This is actually the new packaging for the Urban Decay Original uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna take the little wand, apply a thin layer on my eyelid and blend that up. And also I'm gonna apply that on my lower lash line. So here is the gorgeous Alter Ego Heartbreaker palette from Lorac. And we're gonna be using this beautiful soft brown shade, which is a great color for the crease. And I'm just going to apply that as my first base color because it also makes the other colors easier to blend. So just apply that all over your top eyelid and also on your lower lash line. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous shade of plum. This color is going to go onto the crease and it's also going to round off the eye. So I'm also going to apply this to the outer corner of my lower lash line. Now that I think about it, this look actually reminds me of like a sunset. I just feel like it's very appropriate for spring. So just make sure you blend that color very well. Again, the first color that we applied is going to make the blending so much easier. So it's really important that you apply a base color first. Now, some of the brushes that I'm using today are from Tarte, and I believe these are pretty new. I just got these in last week, and I'm taking a flat shader, the flat shader side of the brush, and patting on this light brown, bronzy color. This is going to be going in the center of the eyelid, and it's really going to make our eyes pop. Next, I'm going to just wipe off all of the excess fallout with a makeup remover towelette. Next, I'm taking a flat shader brush once again, and this is gonna be for the highlight color, and that's gonna go right underneath the highest part of my eyebrow. Now, for the eyelashes, first I'm just going to curl my lashes to give them some curl. And then I'm gonna put on my favorite eyelashes. These are the Demi Wispies. I think I have about 20 pairs of these. They're very awesome. They're just very natural and they give me the right amount of flair. So I think these are very appropriate for daytime makeup looks. Next, I'm taking the Stylus Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to give myself a very subtle cat eye. This eyeliner, guys, no joke, Literally one of my favorite ones I've ever tried out and it's also very affordable too. So you can pick these up at the drugstore. I mean, they just give me so much precision and I can get a beautiful, nice little sharp cat eye whenever I use something like this. Now to complete the eyeliner, I'm taking this Too Faced waterproof eyeliner and I'm just going to tight line. Now taking the Tarte Gifted Mascara, I'm going to give my lower lashes a few coats. And then also if you want, you can add a few more coats to the top lashes just so you can bind your real ones with the fake ones. Now to separate my lower lashes, which gives them a more natural look, I always take this comb from Makeup Forever and I really love that it really separates and gets to the root of the lash and just extends my lower lashes. So not only are they coated with mascara, but they look natural as well. And then after that, I'm taking my Tarte Guard, which is a sunscreen, SPF 30, and I'm going to apply that to my face as a protective layer for the day since I am gonna be using this makeup for the rest of the day. It's pretty early in the morning while I was filming this. 
So now this is the first time that I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette which you can change out the little pants inside. So this first color is banana and I didn't want to do like a full on tutorial on how to use this because there's so many amazing videos out there that you guys can definitely search. But I wanted to use it in one of my videos. So the first color is banana and I'm going to apply this right underneath my eyes. And I also like to take this color in the center of my forehead to just brighten up the overall center of my face. Now I'm taking this tapered foundation brush to apply the color cinnamon, which is going to be my contour color. That's going to go on the hollow parts of my face. I'm not going to go too into detail about how to contour and highlight. I actually already have two videos on that and I'll link them down below. But this color is just going to be applied, like I said, on the contours area of my face, also around my forehead, the temples, uh, along the side of the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to take the color cream, which is going to work as my foundation color. So anywhere else in my face, it's typically just uh, the lower cheekbones and around the bottom part of my bottom lip. That's where this color is going to be applied. So just to sort of cover the rest of my face if I need a little bit of coverage in those areas. And now I'm going to take my trusted beauty blender, which is going to do all of the blending. I always use a beauty blender when it comes to cream products because it blends the color without moving it around. So I don't end up with contour color on my bottom, um, like on my jawline, for example. So just do a lot of blending. Take your time with the step. It's really important that you take your time because that's what's going to make your highlighting and contouring look amazing. So I am going to switch around with different brushes, but all I'm going to do is just blend everything in my face. So this brush, if you guys are wondering, it's also from Tarte. It's one of their new makeup brushes. And what I'm doing here is just taking a blending brush, like um, just a typical eyeshadow blending brush. And I like to use this kind of brush around my eye area because it's not going to disturb the eye makeup. So just make sure that you blend very carefully around those edges. And I like to drag the color outward, of course, because it sort of gives me like a facelift, not necessarily saying that I need one or anything, but it just adds to the whole effect of the highlighting and contour. So now that I'm all done blending, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Luxury Powder and Buff. And guys, I actually like this one a lot more than I like the Banana Powder because this is a very natural color and not only can you set your makeup, but it looks natural. It doesn't look very yellowish or exaggerated. So I like to just focus this on the concealer and then whatever's left, I just add it or pat it to the rest of my face. And the cool thing about this cream contour palette is also that you don't need to set it with heavy um, powders because it actually has a very strong stain power. Now the next color is actually a blush and this is from MAC. It's called Copper Tone and I'm going to use my Zova or Zoeva brush and this is going to just add a little bit of contour on my cheeks and some color back into my face. Now I'm taking a fan brush to apply my highlight. This is a gold deposit from MAC and I'm just going to fan this on my cheekbones and also down the bridge of the nose. Now I'm taking Mauve Lip Liner from Nabi Cosmetics, which is one of my favorite lip liners ever. Um, this is a color that I found on Amazon and remember I told you guys that I found probably around a hundred of these for a very affordable price. I think like under 20 or $30 for like a hundred of these. They are amazing. So I'm going to put a link down in the description bar for that. But I'm just going to give myself a base and also give my lips some shape.
And then to finish this beautiful lip combination, I'm taking Melted Fig from Too Faced. I'm just going to give myself one coat to my bottom and top lips. Last but not least, I'm taking Buxom. This is a Total Fixation Set and Refresh Gel Face Mist. By far one of my favorite setting sprays that I discovered at Sephora just recently. So I really recommend this one. And that pretty much completes the look, guys. I really appreciate you guys coming by. And if you want to see pictures and a product list, you can go to dulcecandy.com.